Throughout my 39 years on this earth, I have been to a lot of sporting events, a lot of them. Rivalry games in college football, national championship games, been to every round of the playoffs in the NFL besides the Super Bowl, every round of the playoffs in the NBA besides the conference and NBA finals because my pals, they've been unable to make it that far. When Chris Paul was here in the late 2000s, I didn't have the money at the time to attend NBA games. And believe it or not, And some of you guys might find this hard to believe since I find baseball to be painfully boring, but I've even been to a lot of Major League Baseball games. But nothing, I mean nothing, compares to the experience of going to a live NBA game. When you go to an NBA game and you're sitting in the lower bowl of the arena, you are literally on top of the court, on top of the players. One of the unique things about NBA games that you don't get in any other sports league, it's the fan interaction with the players. Even 10, 15, 20 rows up, you were still close enough to interact with the players. If you're sitting courtside, you could steal the ball and launch your own version of the WNBA specialty, an air ball. Afterwards, you'll get to experience another WNBA specialty, a gel cell. Over the last two, maybe three years, I have been telling you guys that the NBA is at war with its own fan base. Starts at the top with Adam Silver, filters down to the worst group of officials in any professional sport. And then there's a group of players, not all players, not even most players, but there is a group of players that seem to enjoy exerting their power, having the paying customer, the people who contribute to paying their salaries. They seem to enjoy having the consumer thrown out of the arena. There is only two industries in this country that I know of where the consumer is punished for using the product they're paying for insurance in NBA games. There are so many major problems right now in the NBA. Alice Silver is the worst commissioner in sports. The officiating is pathetic, but right behind those two problems is the fact that NBA players have all the power. Name another business in this country where the employees have the power over the employers. Name another industry where the millionaires have more power than the billionaires. Go ahead, go ahead, I'll wait. It does not exist. If Zion Williamson walked into David Griffin's office today and said, I want out of New Orleans, the temptation to eat is far too strong here doesn't matter that Zion has three or maybe even four years left on his contract. If Zion wanted to be traded, his ass would be traded. Not only that, he would probably even get to pick his destination. When Dwight Howard forced his way out of Orlando, the Magic, they received scrubs in return. The franchise in Orlando hasn't been the same since. But contrary to the belief of the national media and Captain Doofus Stephen A. Smith, Zion Williamson actually loves it in New Orleans. He ain't going anywhere. And contrary to the belief of Captain Doofus, Zion Williamson is now in the best shape that he's been all season. You know what else Zion doesn't do? He doesn't get paying customers thrown out of the arena. He doesn't whine and complain to NBA officials like a little bitch. These fans are meanies! Get Alice Silver on the phone! I want this toxic masculinity removed from my arena! Last night, Luka Doncic, he became the latest superstar player to go to war with the NBA fan base. The Suns, they were in Dallas to play the Mavs. Right now, the Suns, one of the hottest teams in the league. Devin Booker is dominating on a nightly basis. This dude's got one of the most prolific scores in the history of the league on his team and Kevin Durant. And for the past few weeks, Devin Booker has been the best player in the NBA. He completely dominated the Mavs again last night. During the third quarter, Suns were up by three touchdowns. Dallas was moving the ball up the court in transition. In a surprising turn of events, Luka Doncic, he was not involved in the play. When I initially saw this clip, I thought the Mavs were on defense. I'm used to seeing Luka Doncic watch his team play five on four on the defensive side of the ball. On this possession, though, Luca he wasn't involved because he was too busy pointing out a paying customer, I mean bully, to NBA officials in the stands. Watch for yourself.
you're probably wondering, what the hell just happened? I didn't even hear that guy say anything to Luke. Luckily, ESPN NBA reporter Tim McMahon, he was in the same section and he witnessed the traumatic verbiage. I got to be honest with you. This fan was completely out of line here. His first sin was having the audacity to wear a Phoenix Suns jersey at a Dallas Mavericks home game. That is unacceptable! He followed up that egregious sin by telling Luke Doncic, Hey Luke, you look tired. Your ass needs a treadmill. I have not heard that level of verbal abuse since LeBron James had a fan of the Indiana Pacers removed from the arena because she referred to him as King James instead of the title of royalty that he prefers, Queen James. After the Mavs were humiliated on their home floor, Luka Doncic, he fulfilled his contractual obligations by speaking to the media. Now, rarely, rarely, Do I commend the media for doing their job, mainly because the media rarely does their job? But this was one of those rare situations where the mainstream sports media worked to perfection. They wanted answers because NBA fans want answers. NBA fans are tired of being kicked out of the arena because they hurt someone's feelings. They are tired of being treated like criminals because pampered players can't handle criticism. Credit to Tim McMahon at ESPN because he was not letting Luka Doncic slide here. He was pressing him for answers. He wanted to know why he had this dude removed from the arena. Watch for yourself. What else did he say? I'm not going to say what he said, but I knew you were going to be the first one to put out something like that. So I just thought, man, it's just funny. You always seem to be the first one to put some bad stuff about me. Luka, first of all, 99% of the stuff I've written about you has been good. Oh, Second ball, the guy was sitting two rows behind us. All right, so it was the only thing he was, that time he said something, the only thing? That was what you reacted to. Yeah, I was hearing the whole first half, right? Well, you, you didn't, didn't hear anything. Well, no, he was, he was definitely hollering all okay. game. Okay. You that, reacted to You put out something that was just the only thing. Well, what, okay, was the final, what, 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 what was the final issue? issue? What was the thing that he It's not the issue. I'm just seeing you well, seem to be the first one to always with something bad about me. Look, well, I think I several of us have to be adept. It's fine. It's all over. That's Why would you mean. ask the fan to be adept? Because he was cursing me the whole first half, too. Why don't you ask him to be adept in the first half, then? Because I never would object to that. They paid for tickets, but I had enough for them. Busted! For the first time, a superstar player in the NBA has been busted. Luka Doncic, he tried to play the victim. He tried to run with the excuse, I'm not repeating what he said. It's far too vile. It's too dangerous for virgin ears. He's trying to insinuate that this fan was being inappropriate. Remember Clay Thompson a couple of years ago in Boston during the NBA Finals? How dare these fans say fuck Draymond Green? There are children in the arena. Oh, the children. It's all about the children. Uh, Clay Thompson, here we are two, almost three years later. I'm still saying, fuck Draymond Green. Luka Doncic, he didn't realize that Tim McMahon was sitting two rows behind the real victim in this situation. Luke, he doesn't want to reveal what was said because if I had to guess, this fan didn't say anything egregious. If this dude was really being disrespectful, if he was giving Luka Doncic the business the entire first half, don't you think we would see video footage? Don't you think someone would have recorded it? The truth is, A lot of these superstar players in the NBA, they're soft. They can't take the heat. They can't handle the criticism. Zion Williamson has taken more criticism this season than any other player in the NBA. Not one time have we seen Zion Williamson react unprofessionally. Not one time have we seen Zion have NBA fans removed from the arena. He didn't lash out at Charles Barkley, didn't lash out at Shaq, didn't defend himself against the baseless allegations that Captain Doofus Stephen A. Smith was making that Zion Williamson is the favorite consumer of high-end chefs in New Orleans. You know what Zion did? He used the criticism as motivation. I'm criticized every day. Now, it's nowhere near the level that NBA players are criticized, but I receive my fair share of criticism and personal attacks. Just the other day, some dude who hasn't seen the inside of a woman since birth said, I think you're making up your fiancé and stepdaughter. They're not really real. 
I didn't block him from watching the channel, didn't waste my time replying because I knew he was projecting. He was projecting his life onto me. He brags to his friends about his girlfriend when he hasn't seen her in months because he can't afford to fix the air compressor that's needed to inflate her. Last night on Rumble, some shit fuck claimed that I was a paid mouthpiece, a paid propagandist. Now, he didn't specify who was paying me. I'm assuming that he's a loyal viewer of CNN because he was upset that I highlighted CNN's huge embarrassing failures when it comes to drawing ratings. Ratings don't matter. You're just a paid mouthpiece. Yeah, that's my favorite excuse, ratings don't matter. Tell that to advertisers. Tell that to television executives who pay billions of dollars to broadcast sports. Or in the case of the WNBA, hundreds of dollars. Ratings are the only thing that matters. Although Luka Doncic was responsible for having this NBA fan removed from the arena, I can't put the blame on him. He was simply exercising the power that's been given to him. Once again, 100% of the blame is on Alice Silver. Alice is responsible for giving unlimited power to NBA players. Alice is the one responsible for this sense of entitlement. Some of these NBA players believe they are above being criticized. You heard in that clip. Luka Doncic complaining to Tim McMahon writing negative articles about him. 1% of the time you're being mean to me. That is 1% too many. They fight with the media. They fight with the fan base. They fight with the two main components that contribute to the NBA's existence. Without the media, the NBA doesn't get promoted. Without the fans, they don't get paid. Doesn't make sense. Doesn't make sense. I mean, if you walked into Home Depot and the greeter said, Get the fuck out of here. We don't want you shopping at Home Depot. Would you ever go back? Because that is the message the NBA is sending to its fan base. They want you to spend hundreds, sometimes thousands of dollars on tickets, but... You are not allowed to boo opposing players. Just ask Grandpa Greg Popovich. He'll lecture you on that issue. You're not allowed to talk shit to opposing players. If you tell Luka Doncic that he looks exhausted, you're gone. It doesn't make sense to me, but what the hell do I know? I'm not an emotional, pampered superstar in the NBA. But give me your thoughts. Luka Doncic, he enlists in the NBA Army in the war against their own fan base. I don't have eyes everywhere, but do you see this happen in any other league? I have never seen this in the NFL or Major League Baseball. Hell, college basketball has some of the rowdiest crowds. I've never seen this happen in college basketball. The only place where I see paying customers consistently kicked out of the event that they're paying for is the NBA. Who do you blame? Do you blame the players for having fans kicked out, or do you blame Alice Silver who gave them the power to do it? Let me know. Sound off in the comments below. Like, subscribe, share the video. I appreciate your support. Best way to contact me is by email at btlkc84 at gmail.com. KC underscore BTL84 on Twitter. I'll see you guys later.